hello guys uh welcome back to my channel Mason african motives uh still working on engineering science and two so in this platform actually we shall be focusing on uh, statics which is on the question paper of uh, august 2021 uh that we are going to at least work on and see how they're asking these questions so guys if you're new to this channel you can consider subscribing so that you become part of the family Mason african motives so quickly looking into the questions that we had uh, from this recent paper we are given there on statics okay so that is a question which actually 10 marks for that yes that is 10 marks we are given that um, a horizontal beam resting on two supports which is l and r which are seven meters apart yes the following specifications okay so these are the specifications that we are given support l three meters from the left end support r is at the right end uh, 50 newton is at the left end 40 newton two meters from the support l 30 newton is four meters from support r and draw the beam and clearly label all important information which means all the forces and the distances apart should be represented all right so uh let's quickly see what it was supposed to be like so in this case uh, now that uh, we are working the beam is we're just going to draw our horizontal line and uh, see how this was supposed to be guys let's just see something like this all right so we are given that uh, we have got supports in this case from um, the information which are actually seven meters apart these two supports seven meters apart and the first support which is l support l is three meters from the left end all right so let's start with this one which is three meters from the left end so this remember that's our left side here it's the left and this is your right so three meters support is a support is supposed to be facing upwards uh, always you must know that a support always faces what upwards like this so that's your support here which is support l so this support l that we're talking about is three meters from the left end which is a uh, this is your left end here so this one is three meters from that so that is what you're going to indicate or you can indicate here uh, the distance just on top but the, this support is supposed to be pointing upwards, okay? Uh, sorry, for that we want this part here. Then we are given that um, support R is at the right end. So there's another support R. This one is straight at the right end, okay? So this is your right end at the end here. That is where we have uh, your support R here at the right end. All right, so we've got our support R there what else do we have we have got um remember between l and r there is the seven meters in between these two so you can indicate in between these two we've got a distance here of seven meters we are, we are told about this so this is seven meters so which means at the end we shall have uh, 10 meters okay so 50 newton is at the left end 50 this one is not a support it's a point load so a point load is is always facing downwards so you're going to draw a point load of 50 newton at the left end to be pointing downwards okay so at the, this is your left end remember we are told at the left end so this is what is important here at the end of the left side okay so this is going to be pointing downwards like it's a, it's a it's a point load like this one okay of 50 newtons so this is what you're going to to have there all right then what else are we given 40 newton is two meters from support l two meters from which means from l going this direction we've got two meters in between that's where we are going to have our support what our support l which is two meters so you can just indicate maybe it here like this two meters so this one is supposed to be straight pointing downwards like this 
this is fi uh, 40 newton two meters from the left from the support L so this is 40 newton then so the force here is 40 newton like this so we've got uh, two meters in between here two meters okay so that is a uh, two meters from the from the two then uh, 30 newton is four meters from support r four meters from r which means from r going this direction we've got four meters uh, so that's definitely can be something like this let's just say this is uh, four meters from r here we're supposed to have a distance of four meters all right so this is uh, four meters there so if we have got four meters here and um okay let's indicate the force space which is a uh, 30 newton there so we are going to have 30 newton at this point all right all the distances are there but we need to know also the distance between these two point loads because these are point loads what is the distance remember from this point to this point we've got uh, seven meters here and already we have got two and four meters here so two plus four that's six so out of seven meters we have used six meters so how many is remaining so it's seven minus six which is going to give us one meter in this case so that everything from this point to this point we must obtain the same seven this three here is the same because it's on this side here this three here is on this side so you can write it below or you can write it on top it's one and the same thing i could have just indicated with the dotted lines there then i can indicate my distance of three meters it's one and the same thing so that is what we had on 2.1 that was uh, 2.1 then which was uh, actually needed us to end up with uh, this presentation which is uh, uh, to draw a beam there so that is it now the question is um, calculate the magnitude of the reactions by taking moments about both take note about both supports which means we have to take moments about R take moments about L we have to take moments about both supports all right how are we going to do this remember uh, let's okay let's just start with the L then we move on to R so we're going to start with moments about L this is 2.2 now so you've got moments about L all right so if we are to take moments about L there's something that we need to note here about L this is where we are going to like place like we are now at this point here all right so remember we are going to like view from R here back to L so as you can see this is the movement of R is going to move in this direction back to L which is anti-clockwise remember this direction guys is anti-clockwise the same way that we are having which is this movement pose anti-clockwise guys it's like this okay you'll be moving in this way that is anti-clockwise okay so this is anti-clockwise okay when it is clockwise you'll be moving pose a clock moves like this so this is clockwise that's how a clock moves so this is clockwise moment so like how I was presenting here, R is moving in this direction, which is anti-clockwise. The same way that our R is moving back to L here is the same way that this 50 is moving. Because if you are to cross-check, 50 is going to move like this. And if you are to cross-check this direction here of this movement here, this is anti-clockwise. So because it's the same thing, it's just a continuation. If you are to cross-check, this arrow is facing this direction and this one is facing the same direction so these are your anti-clockwise and these ones as you can see 40 and 30 they are going to move in this direction which is clockwise okay so that is the idea there so this is going to be our presentation since l is uh since r is moving back in an anti-clockwise i'm going to start with r here so i'm going to use anti-clockwise sum of anti-clockwise moments 
to be equal to the sum of the clockwise moments okay so which one are you talking about in the anti-clockwise we said it's r back to l which is seven r times seven because remember it's four times distance so r times seven so you've got r times seven plus another one we still have this one of 40 back to l here this is a still anti-clockwise so it's 50 times three there's a distance of three there so you've got 50 by 3, which is equal to the clockwise now, which is these ones on the other side, which is 40 back to L here. So it's 40. There's a distance of 2 here. So it's 40 times 2. So that is the distance that you're going to take. So that's 40 by 2. Plus, we move on to another one, still on the same side, which is this one. So this is a 30 by 3 so we've got 2 plus 1 which is 3 2 plus 1 guys that's 3 so it's going to be 30 by 3 all right so it's going to be 30 by 3 okay we no longer have anything which is in the clockwise these are the ones that we have so that is what you're going to combine just like that guys um you're done so this is going to be 7 r plus uh that's 150 which is equal to uh, you can just combine these or you can simplify them separately. That's 80 plus 90, which is 7 R plus 150 is equal to, if you add this, you're going to obtain 170. Then transpose 150 to this side is going to be a minus. So 7 RS 170 minus 150, which is a 20 there. All right, so you can divide by 7 by 7. So R is equal to... If you divide by 7, 20 divided by 7 is going to give us this decimal, guys. 2,8,5,7,1,4, something like that. Okay. So you can at least round to three decimal places, which is going to be 2,1,2,3, which is 8,5,7. And this force is the guys the way in Newtons. You know, this R is too small. Okay. Because uh, if you are to cross check all these forces, guys, the way in Newton, this one. It's in newtons or all, all these they're in newtons so definitely the reaction there of the support array is supposed to be also in in newtons same units so take note the question was asking us to take moments about both supports so now we are going to take moments about r now all right so what about when we take moments about r what are we going to end up with this time if you are to cross check uh for moments about r we are going to see that um now this is this is it guys this is where we are now talking about where we are our eyes so this l is going to move in this direction back to r here sorry this is going to move in this direction which is actually clockwise because this is the same way the clock moves if you are to cross check from this part are you seeing the way that where this is, is going because it's going to go this direction so this is the clock pose if you maintain this is going to be like this so that is clockwise so r is going to move l is going to move back to r here in a clockwise manner so i'm going to start with clockwise this time so the sum of uh, clockwise moments is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moments all right so let's see what we have so it's l back to r here which is seven meters so it's l times seven okay do we have do we still have anything that is moving in a in a clockwise manner in a clockwise do we still have anything okay let's cross check what's happening with these other forces this one because we are coming back to l to r here so if you are to cross check this 50 guys it's to r here it's what this is anti-clockwise because if you continue like this are you seeing that it's anti-clockwise so this is anti-clockwise the same pose this is also anti-clockwise this is also anti-clockwise sorry so these forces they're actually in an anti-clockwise this one all of them so we're going to take them to one side so it's 50 back to l here so what is the distance between here remember i said three plus uh, seven plus three which is ten so in between here we have got a 10 meters, 3 plus 7, which is 10. So it's going to be 50 times 10. 50 by 10, 4 times distance plus, we move on to 40. 
which is the force times the distance again so 40 back to r here as we can see we've got one meter and four so it's one plus four which is five so it's 40 times five so this is going to give us 40 times five plus we move on to the last one which is uh, the last force here which is this 30 and there's a distance of four here so it's 30 times four back to the point r there so it's 30 by 4 that is the distance that you're going to take 30 and 4 so that's 30 by 4 like this all right so 7l will be equal to just try to combine uh, just like what we did previously also if you're going to combine this you're going to obtain 8 uh, to 0 like this then you divide by 7 by 7 because you want to find l so l is going to be 117 comma 143 if you round off properly guys just like um, what we did uh in the previous part there you're going to see that you're going to obtain the same answer there um i mean you're going to obtain that the uh, decimal of 143 so that means if we are to uh agree with each other here this is uh our error here which is um 117.43 and uh, our L, because when you're in, in exam, always we have to see if it is going to balance, okay? So, and this is 2.857. 2. Uh, you are in exam, so you want to see what you have done. Is it correct? Or So what are you going to do? You are going to prove this using the upward forces. Sum of upward forces equal to the sum of what downward forces. So you can just use summation there. All right. So the upward forces you are talking about these two forces here. So you're going to add these two forces together. Downward forces, which means you're talking about these ones, which is the point in downward. So you're going to obtain the same answer there. But in this case, we are not asked to prove and so forth. But just in exam, you uh, you must do that to see if it is correct because you are taking moments about both supports so definitely if your answers are going to be giving you the same thing that is correct uh, that is a, another way to see that what you've done is actually correct or not but that's it guys uh, for Mason African motives working on uh, question papers and revisions for engineering science and two till we meet again